Yo guys, really quick before the video starts, according to YouTube's analytics, 98% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed, which is like, what are you doing, bro? Just hit the button. All right, guys, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new PP19 Bison Chuckwalla Blueprint. Uh, this is a blueprint available in the new Season 3 Battle Pass, and it's a pretty decent one. If you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original blueprint, you guys will see that with this class setup, the main focus is accuracy and range. We get a small boost to control, but we end up losing a lot of mobility, which kind of sucks for an SMG. Obviously, this this build is specifically meant uh, for medium to long range gunfights with an SMG, which is a little odd, but overall, not too bad of a class setup, but we can fix this and make this much better. So if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that I'm going to share with you guys in this video, you'll see that we still get a really nice boost to accuracy and range. We get a small boost to control as well. However, instead of losing a bunch of mobility, we actually improve that mobility significantly, and uh, we have much better aim down sight speed as well as sprint to fire speed like most SMGs should. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, the muzzle that we're going to be using is the compensator. With this, we're getting recoil control, giving us a nice boost to accuracy and control. We lose a little bit of aim down sight speed and aiming stability here, but obviously we're going to make up for that with some of the other attachments. So the compensator muzzle. The barrel that we're using is the 8.7 steel. Now, we're not changing this from the original blueprint. Obviously, with this, we're getting major boost to the main three stats here, accuracy, range, and control, which is obviously really important. We end up losing more ADS speed here, but again, we're going to make up for that here shortly with some other attachments. But again, the 8.7 steel barrel. The laser that we're going to be using is the 5MW laser. So we're using the 5MW laser mainly to improve that hip fire accuracy. We also get a really nice uh, sprint to fire speed pro here, which is important, giving us a nice boost to accuracy and mobility. I think the 5MW laser is generally the best laser to run for the SMGs, those close quarters gunfights. Uh, this makes all the difference. So again, the 5MW laser. We're not going to be using an optic. I decided to take the optic off this class setup. I don't think it's necessary. The PP19 has great iron sights and is fairly accurate. So running that uh, optic is really just going to make us lose more aim down sight speed, which we really don't want to do. So we're keeping that off. The stock that we're using is the FSS close quarter stock. So this attachment is going to help to improve our aim down sight speed. And that's the main focus of this. You guys will see again, we get a nice mobility boost. The main purpose is that ADS speed. So again, the FSS close quarter stock. We're not running any extra ammunition. In the original blueprint, they run the 84 round uh, mags, and I don't think that's necessary. You only lose a little bit of mobility and control. However, you lose more aim down sight speed, and I think there's plenty of ammo in the PP19 to be able to suffice. So you really shouldn't have any issues uh, with running out of ammo. So we're going to not run that. And last but not least, the rear grip that we're using is stippled grip tape. With this, we're improving once again our aim down sight speed as well as print to fire speed, giving us one last boost to mobility. Again, a lot of close quarters to medium range gunfight you're going to win a lot of those uh, with these specific attachments but uh, i'm going to give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments to come with this specific build if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific class setup please make sure to leave a comment down below and i'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see all you guys in the next video